All objects, all things, large or small, have an invisible pulling force between them. This pulling force is called gravity or gravitational force. We're familiar with the gravity between us and that very large object we call the Earth. Without gravity, we'd all go spitting off the Earth in outer space. That's right. The strength of the gravitational force is based on the amount of material in the objects. And the amount of material is called mass. One example of this is the Earth. It has a lot more mass than the apple. The more the mass, the more the gravitational pull. Because the apple has less mass, it moves more easily than the Earth. The apple falls down to the Earth rather than the Earth moving up toward the apple. This is true of the gravitational pull between any objects. The object with less mass will move more easily. It takes more force to move an object that has more mass. It takes less force to move an object that has less mass. These two things look about the same size, a pillow and a bag of wheat. Now the pillow is mostly air, so it's easy to move. The bag of wheat's got a lot more material in it, has a lot more stuff, so it's harder to move. It has more mass. This shows us that size and mass are not the same thing. Let's compare two things that are different sizes. This is a bowling ball, and this is a 10-pound weight. This scale balances equally between two things, so we know that they have the same weight, they have the same amount of material. Even though they are two different sizes, these things have the same mass. The force of gravity is also affected by distance. The pulling force between two objects is stronger when the objects are closer together. If the bowling ball was in space and this cylinder stayed on Earth, they would still have the same mass because they would have the same amount of material. But they would have different weights because the pull of gravity on the ball would be less. Weight is how much the gravity of Earth is pulling on an object. The mass of an object is how much material is in it. It is always the same, no matter where the object is.